Hello everyone, Keith here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to use a excellent feature of Xbox DRV. Uh, it has a feature that allows you to uh, set up any gamepad to emulate an Xbox 360 pad. This feature is useful for if you're playing a game on Linux that uh, doesn't support your gamepad, but it does support Xbox 360 pads. You can pretty much take any gamepad and uh, just pass some arguments to Xbox DRV and Xbox DRV will take that gamepad's input and map it uh, basically to an Xbox uh, mappings uh, so yeah it's pretty cool I'm gonna show you guys how to do it so let's go ahead and uh, get rid of this image here so the way it works is first thing you need to do is install a program called EV test excuse me and once you have that installed, you're going to want to run it and without any arguments. And when you run it without uh, specifying a device, it gives you a list of all your input devices. Or at least what it detects as an input devices. So what you're going to want to do is, it's going to ask you to select a device event number. You just want to look down here and find the device that is your gamepad. In this particular instance, I actually have an arcade stick. And we look down here, we see slash dev slash input event 21 0 plus P4 wide gamepad. So that's my controller. So I'm going to head, go ahead, wanna, wanna go ahead. It says here select a device in, event number. We're just going to type 21. And then bam. And then uh, what EV test is, is it's basically a program for detecting or for uh, testing out. Uh, event devices you know input devices basically see here we're moving the stick and we're getting a lot of output basically every time you hit a button or move anything on the axis or anything like that it gives you output as to what the EV key is and just other miscellaneous stuff like that you're gonna want to take note specifically of each line that says EV key you're gonna want to take note of this these this codes that get printed out when you press a button um, but anyway, for yeah, and for now, we're going to go ahead and cancel this, clear the terminal out. Next thing you're going to want to need, of course, is Xbox DRV. You're going to want a recent version of it, so that way you can guarantee your uh, controller is supported. I have a shell script here, which automates this for me. Uh, might not, it won't really work for you guys, but I can walk you through the process. So yeah, uh, the way I learned about this was there's an article, or not an article, but rather a post on the Steam community page for Dust and Elysian Tale, which says right here, play with any USB controller on Linux using Xbox DRV to emulate an Xbox controller. Uh, this gives an excellent tutorial on basically uh, what I'm showing you guys right now, uh, but he gives a much more sort of verbose and uh, much more detailed explanation on how to do it. So I recommend that if this video doesn't like help you guys too much, uh, I recommend, you know, um, actually going in and reading this article. Uh, basically, what you want to do is, um, you want first thing you want to do is you want to run Xbox DRV. You're going to want to type in dash dash EV dev. And you're going to want to type in, if you remember earlier when we ran EV test, it gave us a list of devices. So you want to take, this is my uh, control, my arcade stick here. So we're, we're going to want to go ahead and take this right here, which is actually device path, the device path for our uh, input device and we're going to go ahead down here and just you know put that in down here in this case I've already done it uh, you know it's slash dev input event 21 that says you know use this device as a device for the emulation so yeah and we want this device we want event 21 to emulate the Xbox gamepad so the next step is to type in uh, dash dash ev dev dash key map uh, this is where it gets a little complicated and kind of hard to follow uh, but basically what you're doing here is you're telling uh, you're basically giving you're telling Xbox DRV when I press this button on my gamepad send that uh, convert that button to this button so for instance we have here the first line as you can see button a equals X uh, so yeah what you're gonna do is you're gonna want to run EV test you're gonna want to have EV test in a separate window or something run it and make sure it's reading from your gamepad device you're gonna to want to press a button uh, say for instance this button and as you can see when I press that button it says right here you're gonna to to look at the specific line that says EV key it gives us a code key and the actual identifier of the key you're gonna to want to take this button east part and uh, tell Xbox DRV to map that 
to the relevant uh, Xbox, the relative position of that on the Xbox controller. So for instance, say I want to map, I have a, if I press my button here, which would be button square on a PlayStation controller or button X on a uh, Xbox controller, we get a report that says button south. So we take button south, we put it in here, and then we t and then we put in equals X. So what that will tell Xbox DRV is that when we press button south, tell whatever program we're actually press we're actually pressing X on an Xbox gamepad. So yeah, and the way this works is you just go ahead and you type in every uh, you press every button on your controller. For instance, uh, we're gonna hit Y. And it's gonna add, it's gonna say button north, and you want to do a comma between each button, or and yeah. So we do a comma here, and then button north equals Y, uh, button mode equals guide, which is the Xbox guide button, and you just want to do this for everything. To get a list of all the keys you can map to, you're gonna want to do. Uh, let me find it here. Xbox DRV dash dash help dash button, which will give us a list of all the buttons that we can write to. Uh, yeah, you don't need to map all of them, just map the ones you need. Uh, and then there's also dash dash help dash ABS, which gives us a bunch of uh, joystick stuff. And then we have ABS map, or that's not a proper one, I got that one wrong. Uh, axis, and axis is the actual uh, analog sticks we can emulate. So if you look here, uh, so yeah, you just run that to give you an idea of all the stuff you can map your controller to. But yeah, anyway, we go go ahead and going back to the command here. Once you've gotten uh, that out of the way and you've pressed every button on your uh, controller and you've mapped it to every relevant button over here, uh, once again, you know, uh, it's pretty easy. You just, you know, what do I want to map right trigger? Uh, I do button, hit this button. And that's my right trigger, so I change that to button Z, etc. You know what I mean? Uh, it's pretty simple to set up. Uh, so yeah, and then once you've gotten done with your EDEV key map section, you're gonna want to move to your dash dash EV dev dash ABS map. Uh, this is basically uh, mapping the joystick movement, so that the joystick, uh, when you move your joystick, it gets emulated to an Xbox joystick. So to do this. Once again, we move the joystick. We move. We want to move it up so that way we can get the uh, y-axis event code. See here, or the y-axis identifier, whatever you would call it. You see here we have abs underscore hat zero y. So we just go ahead and type in abs underscore hat zero y equals y one. What that says is, uh, you know, moving my uh, stick up on the y-axis equals moving an Xbox controller's left stick up and down etc and then we also do that for the horizontal one but instead of putting equals yx we put equals uh, or excuse me instead of putting y1 we put equals x1 um, if you want to if you have a um, if you're doing this with a controller and you have a second analog stick you would actually do something uh, for the second arcade stick instead of put or for the second stick you instead of putting uh, X1 you would do X2 so say for instance you know your uh, right stick is hat 1 X is the input is the code is the uh, code you get when you move it you would just do that equals X2 yeah, it's a little hard to follow, but once you do it once or twice, you get you understand it sort of. And then uh, dash dash x axis map. Uh, I forgot what this means. I never really looked into this. Um, for me personally, I couldn't figure out what axis map did, so I just left it at its uh, default recommendation, which is dash y uh, y one equals y one. Um, I've never had to change that fact. If I if I search this page, I don't even know if I can find any info about it here. Yeah, I can't find any info on it here as well. Uh, so yeah, I'm not 100% sure what that does. So you know, I just recommend leaving that in the default and changing it if you have to. Uh, and then you have a section here dash dash mimic dash xpad. This will say. Uh, 
uh, excuse me. This will say that for certain games they expect to see an X pad, and this will sort of emulate that so that way the controller can see it. Uh, then we also have uh, dash dash silent. The dash dash silent flag um, makes it to where if you move your joystick, it won't print anything out in the Xbox DRV terminal window. Because by default, every time you move your joystick, it gets like printed out, uh, and dash dash silent suppresses the output. So once you have the full command written, we're going to go ahead and execute it. And then, voila, it should work. Now, one thing I would like to note is you're going to want to kill EV test uh, because it's no longer reporting the proper thing. Uh, another thing I would like to point out is that when you, for me, whenever I run uh, Xbox DRV to do this, to emulate the Xbox 360 pad, it tends to take a while before it actually utilizes. Like you see here, I'm moving my arcade stick and I'm not getting any output. Uh, note though that if you use uh, dash dash silent like this says here, uh, if, you use, if you use dash dash silent when you execute the command, it will suppress the event output. Yeah, so anyway, yeah, you notice that nothing, I didn't use dash dash silent, so every time I move my stick or press a button, I should be getting output. But I'm currently not because it actually takes a little bit for the emulation to sort of kick in. See here, I'm just pressing buttons and I'm just waiting for something to pop up. Uh, and this is the more sort of difficult evolved way and uh, as you guys can see it just started working So now here if I move my arcade stick we get a little report Xbox driver is reporting All the buttons we're pressing everything appears to be working Fine, so what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and launch scar worlds just to verify that the controller is now being detected now, this is the more difficult way of doing this, and as you can see, the arcade stick is actually working fine now. Uh, this is the more difficult way of doing this. I'm actually going to show you guys a much more uh, straightforward method of getting the key mapping done, because there's this guy who wrote an article on this uh, very subject, and he did a very, or sort of a blog entry on it. And he did a very, he wrote this little uh, awesome script, which sort of automates this for you. Yeah, as you can see, I don't play this character, so... <laughs> Yeah, I don't actually know what I'm doing, but yeah, as you can see, the arcade stick works as intended. You know, my my lows, my mids, my highs work for both uh, kicks and punches. Pressing two buttons together works. Oh uh, yeah, I gotta go. I gotta go back in here and then switch. So yeah, um, I haven't noticed any latency using this. Uh, there's none that I d could detect. Um, it doesn't feel like there's any delay in pressing the keys. But I don't really have the proper equipment for testing that sort of thing. So I'm not 100% sure if there's any added delay using this emulation method. Probably not. Uh, it feels pretty smooth. Anyway, yeah. So that was the more, admittedly more difficult, complicated way of doing it. Um, there's actually a simplified method. If you remember earlier... I am going to put a link to this uh, Steam community post in the description, by the way, so that way you guys can read it. Uh, but there is a uh, excellent blog post written, written by a weirdimagination.net, uh, and he actually encountered this issue, and he wrote his own Python scripts that allow him to, to sort of automate the entire process. Uh, so I'm going to give you guys a link to this uh, article here. Uh, but basically what you want to do is you want to go to the guy's github. Once again, I'm going to post a link to this github in the description of the video. Uh, this is awesome software. What you basically do is you do you over here to clones or download. Uh, you can clone it or download a zip. I personally prefer cloning it. Uh, but once you have it downloaded, we're going to stop Xbox DRV right now. But once you have it uh, down, you just download it. Pill. Pull. I can't type today. Yeah, you're going to want to go ahead and... Uh, What am I having issues with here? Oh, get clone. My bad. Get, get clone. Right. More command. But yeah, anyway, once you have it downloaded, it's going to have a directory called gamepad-util. And inside it, you're going to have two shell scripts. So yeah, these are written in Python 3 as far as I can tell. So you're going to want to have to execute them with Python 3. Uh, so you do Python 3, create Xbox DRV. Uh, edev map. So you run this and it's going to ask you to yeah one one thing about this is uh, that's kind of uh, annoying is that if you have a I have a webcam plugged in 
when, whenever I have my webcam plugged in, it actually tries to detect that as the controller. So what you do is, if, if that's the case with you, if you start it up, you're going to want to go ahead and move your arcade stick or whatever control you have real quick so that way it gets the proper device mapping. In this instance, it's not working properly. So let me see if there's a way to uh, bypass this. I know, I think his readme... Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, unfortunately, there's no. It can be annoying when it does that, so we're just gonna go ahead. Hopefully, I get it to. There we go. See, now it actually uh, selected the proper input device. Yeah, it's really annoying that it does that sometimes. But basically, yeah, once you get your, once you press a button, what you do is you start to script up. It'll script up. It'll ask you to press a button on the joystick you're setting up. You do that. It detects the event device. In this case, it's event 21, which is my arcade stick. And then it asks you to actually press all the buttons uh, that correspond to the Xbox button. So for instance, it wants you to press start. So you hit start on your gamepad, you hit back, you hit guide, you hit A, B, X, Y. Now when you come across a key you don't want to map, you can just press start on your gamepad and it'll skip it. For instance, black and white, I don't want that. Uh, then you have LB here, which is L1 of course, so we're gonna map this. I believe this gets mapped to here. Then we have right bumper here, left trigger, uh, right trigger. That's left stick in, I don't need that. I don't need right stick in, I'm using a, a arcade stick, I don't need that. A D-pad, I don't want the D-pad to be mapped. I don't want any of the guitar buttons to be mapped, so we just hit start through all of them. Then it's gonna ask you, uh, ask you to actually move your arcade stick. Or your, excuse me, it's gonna actually map, uh, ask you to map, to move your stick to map it. So we do that. Follow its directions here. Left analog stick up, down, up. Now when it gets to X2, it's actually asking you to map the right stick. So I don't need that either. Of course, if you're using like a PS3 gamepad or a PS4 gamepad and you're setting that up to emulate an Xbox controller, you're gonna wanna set up all that. But I'm just using an arcade stick for fighting games, so I don't need all that crap. I don't need the, the uh, pressure sensitive setup, so you can just ignore that. Yeah, and when you're done, it actually go, goes ahead and sort of prints out a nice little command for you to execute. And then you just go ahead, you take that, and you paste it. For me, it actually just bugged out a little bit. Yeah, well, the world of uh, my terminal. Uh, so yeah, anyway, it gives you a nice little command that you can just straight up paste, run, and then it works just like that. Uh, so yeah, that I definitely recommend going the route of uh, the gamepad utilities here. This guy did a good job with the script. If you if you have a webcam or anything plugged into your computer, you may want to turn it off, uh, or you know if that, or just when you start the script up, just move your your gamepad around a bunch so that way it sort of detects it properly. And you don't have to worry about your game, your uh, webcam getting detected or anything like that. Anyway, so yeah, this basically just automates the process for you and just makes it a hell of a lot easier. Uh, this is an excellent uh, script. Cheers to the guy who uh, wrote this. This is GitHub right here. Uh, awesome guy. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. This has been uh, Keith showing you guys how to use Xbox DRV to emulate an Xbox 360 pad with any game controller. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you later.